they tested us early on. They tested how good we were. Not with, you know, I don't want to give us all a big head or anything, but I think they realised we were a little bit more hands-on than the Americans. And I think a lot of them just said, let's just, four months isn't a long time, let's just hide this stuff away and um, we'll just see what happens after that. And I think a lot of things that could have happened just didn't happen purely because these guys just said, we'll just wait and see, what, you know, see where this goes, see who takes over the area after these guys leave. Um, I never did hear of any major contacts after we left as when we were leaving, it, uh, it all seemed to be work, working quite well. How are you tested? You get into a contact, and this applies anywhere in the world for any sort of in, um, warfare and engagement, fire around. What do they do? What's their reaction times? How quick do their QRF, do their quick reaction force turn up? You know, have you got a helicopter gunship hovering overhead 30 seconds after you fire a shot at them? All these things, and, and they, can, they can piece together how quick, how good, how, how professional, what your resources are, how committed you are to the task and all the rest of it. They can find out very quickly and very easily. We didn't have the gunships, we didn't have the tanks, we didn't have all those things that a lot of the other nations did have. But the fact was, um, we were very hands-on. If, if there was a contact, we didn't shy away from it. We were move, always moving forward rather than moving back. Um, we're always very game at kicking in some doors and, um, and finding out where these guys were. And I think they understood that. And maybe from halfway through our four months to the end, very little happened in the way of contacts, purely because I believe that um, they were just quite happy to sit back and wait for us to go.